Ooh, it's been a while since I've been on this world. It's been like a week. So three, two, one, start. Okay. Hello, and welcome back to an episode of Underwater Hardcore Survival. Is it still nighttime? Are there still things out? Yep, it's nighttime. Okay, let's head back in here because there are phantoms in the. Yep, there they are. You can hear them screaming at me. So I guess I'll be starting this episode off by just simply doing a little bit of digging. Hopefully, <laughs> you're so loud I can hear them all the way down here. But hopefully, actually I only have one torch on me. Alright, guess I'm heading back up. Well, no, I'll dig as far as I can with this one torch. So hopefully I'll start getting some more resources pretty soon. I do need a few more diamonds, considering the fact that I currently have, well, like two durability on this diamond pickaxe, which isn't exactly a good thing. I need diamonds so I can get more digging done. Do I have more sticks? Yes, I do. One, two, three. Oh, well, I guess I have three diamonds, so it shouldn't be an issue. My largest issue as of current is the fact that I cannot get food. I have rotten flesh, but it's just not worth the risk, is it? And my crops are growing so slowly that, yeah, that might start becoming a problem pretty soon. But for now, it is not. So I'm going to dig maybe like two minutes and come back up and check and see if the phantoms are gone and the day is brighter. Hey, it's some redstone already. So that means, hopefully, uh, this is going to have a big vein of resources gonna keep my hopes up because that would mean that I have everything that I need and having everything that I need is a good thing uh, put that there keep on digging my goal for this episode I have kind of a couple goals one is to make sure that the mob farm actually functions and isn't just completely useless and two is to do a little bit of fishing while I'm waiting for it and also do a little bit of mining so I can just get the resource ah, I'm breaking stuff get the resources that I need to actually work on stuff. I probably shouldn't be grabbing all this redstone considering what use is redstone gonna have in a world filled with water. Well, no, there's probably plenty of reasons to have redstone. Like, you can make compasses, you can make clocks, you can make actually a lot of different things. Never mind, yeah, redstone's pretty useful. Not gonna grab too terribly much of it, but might as well grab some. Keep on digging. Ooh, there's some iron. Definitely gonna grab that. I cannot leave any iron behind. Is that it? Uh, if I dig around a little bit. Is that really all the- Okay, good. I was gonna say, that was a tiny vein of iron. Uh, still was pretty small, actually. Let's dig a little bit further. Maybe for like another 30 seconds, there's a little bit more iron, so I'm glad I kept digging. Gotta grab this. To grab all of this as soon as I get all of this. Well, no, I'll dig one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's far enough. All right, let's hit. Oh, I just realized I went down a line. That probably wasn't a very smart idea. If I had run into some lava, that would have been insta death. So yeah, let's head back up here. Let's head back up to the surface really quickly. I probably shouldn't be sprinting around considering how low my health is. Did I just hear a... It's still nighttime? I can't tell. Okay, those are squids. It is. Ah, man. Was it like the beginning of the night whenever I started the episode? Oh, no. <laughs> that might be a serious issue. If it was like the beginning of the night, then that means that I am in a bit of a pickle right now. Not a sea pickle, just a regular pickle. Set this iron to cook. One, two, there we go. I'm gonna have to walk around normal. Should I risk it? I have plenty of rotten flesh. I could probably fix myself up. If I get desperate, I'll risk it. But for now, I'm not gonna do that. That would not be smart. So let's head back down, do a little bit more mining. Got my fishing rod on me, so if I get back up and it's daytime, I'll definitely be able to do some fishing. Uh, yeah, that line went plenty distance. I can definitely turn, go into another line, 
and continue this way. I was hoping to get some fishing done today, but... Oh. Well, there goes that pickaxe. Guess I need to go make a new one. Again, I need to not sprint. That would be a very, very poor choice to do. I'm at five minutes in. Alright. Starting to get stressful. Maybe this is why I didn't do an episode in like, I don't know, four days. Actually, no, it's been like a week. Do I have any wood? I do. I'm going to use the jungle planks. Make a couple more sticks. Make this. Make that. And there we go. Diamond pickaxe. Actually, I have a question. Didn't I have a treasure map at some point? No, okay, I remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the treasure maps don't spawn since I'm in a totally ocean environment. Also, my headphones keep popping. Hopefully there isn't, like, some issue with the audio. Still nighttime? Yes. Can I grab these carrots in time? Yes, I can. The phantoms don't seem to care. Eh, but I probably should replant, or replant them. Yeah, I'm gonna be smart and replant them. As soon as I can get these planted enough so that I have a constant supply of carrots, hunger won't even be an issue anymore. Where is my dirt? There it is. Oh. Yeah. Don't know if you heard that, but that was my headphones doing some weird thing where, for some reason, every once in a while, they just decide to try and do an auto shutdown. Don't know why, but they do. I can't seem to place this there. There we go. So, one, two... Squid scared me. And one, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven. There we go. And now, pull all of this, place these in. I know I just said I was desperate for food, and now I'm planting all the stuff that I had to eat. Maybe I'm not as desperate as I think. <laughs> Head back down here, or is it getting to be daytime yet? Please tell me it's getting to be day. Well, actually, I'm not getting attacked. Did I just see a phantom? I did not. Alright. So I'm going to head back here. I'm going to... I guess I'll probably sit by this thing to make sure it actually works. I'm just going to do a little bit of fishing. See what I can catch. I might also go out to... There's a couple structures out there. I bet I could find something. Don't know what, but I'm sure I'll find something. Because, again, I don't remember if I said this in the last episode or a couple episodes ago, but apparently you can get treasure in every single one of those. It doesn't matter what kind of structure it is, there's not like a chance that it won't spawn a chest, it will spawn a chest. So that means that I probably missed a lot of treasure. Also, here comes a fish. And yeah, one fish. That is worth half a hunger bar. Well, actually, if I cook it, it's not, but... What is that? Is that a fish caught on the surface, or is that... Hold on, uh, I'm going to catch this next fish, and I'm going to go out there and see whatever that was. If any fish want to get caught, uh, what's going on? There we go. And of course it was a salmon. Alright, um, frostwalker too, there we go. It, what, what, what was that? You just decided not to frostwalk? So let's head out to here again. Do not need to be sprinting. Might risk it later. Don't know. I'll have to make a decision. Uh, this is just fish. Well, might as well check out this structure thing over here. See if there's anything. There's also that boat over there that I checked out. I'm pretty sure I took the treasure from it. But I may have not. I do not seem to remember. Also, was that a structure or was it literally nothing? Maybe the structure was down here? Uh, Frostwalker is super useful, but it can also be frustrating. Um, anyone home? Because if so, I'm going to steal all your stuff. I seriously need to make a shovel. I always do this. I'll end up going all the way here. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, break this. And let's loot the chest. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Got empty map, don't need that. Take this, take this, take this, take this, and run up to the surface. And I forgot that we still have no way of 
getting back up onto the water once we actually are walking. Also, why are my headphones popping so much? This is like weird. It sounds like they're like unstable. Let's head back. Let's do a little bit more fishing, see if we can get any tra Actually, I should probably empty out my inventory. I have like a bunch of stuff in here. So, yeah. I'm, again, really hoping that that thing actually works, because if it doesn't, then that might be a little bit of an issue. Because, again, there's only two ways of me getting wool, and that is string and also little webs, if I find a web somewhere down in the ground in, like, a stronghold or something. That is my only other way of getting string to get wool. So, yeah. Also, I... Oh! Never mind, it works just fine. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, oh, no, do not need to drop those. I'll drop the emerald for now. I'll come back for that later. Emeralds aren't actually all that useful. Let's head down here. Though that does mean that if a spider does spawn, it could fall and die, which is a good thing. I'll put my blocks in here, and take any blocks out from in here, and put these back up here. Then I'll put my items and semi-blocks and stuff like that in here. Maybe not food items, but everything else. Do I have aqua affinity? Respiration. If I ever am able to make a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, um, how it's it called? Um, I cannot think of what it's called. If I'm ever make, or able to make an anvil, that's what it is, then that will be totally overpowered. Let's head up here, do a little bit more fishing. Maybe I need to stand further away from my mob farm. I don't know. Hopefully that's not the case. But well, actually, no. This is built in the or built in the exact same fashion that my mob farm is in my uh, uh, what's it called Sky Factory series. So I'm sure that it's perfectly fine. And look at this: the crops are starting to grow. Finally, I'm actually getting a good source of food. I'm actually already going to be heading back down to go get some more dirt. Maybe I should just keep dirt in my inventory. That would be smart. Down here. Uh, dirt. There we go. Bring this back up. And actually, should I plant these? I see no reason why I couldn't just eat them. But, nah. Maybe once these all grow in, then I'll start eating them, because this is probably going to supply me with plenty of food. So let's head over here. Stand down here. Let's just start fishing again. Let's see what we can catch. See what good things we can get. I might also go out over to there and see if some of those have chests that have been unexplored. Don't know. Maybe I'll catch one fish and then go check them out. Also, I was kind of hoping that thing would be faster than... I know I only built it one layer and that's supposed to be like five layers. Here's a fish and it was a salmon. Yup, yeah. yeah. Keep the episode a little bit interesting. Let's head out in this direction. See what all of these things have in store for us. And see if we can actually get any loot. So we can get things that we want. And get things that we need. And we'll be able to survive better. Also, is that a structure too? Did I explore both of those? I can't remember. Okay. This might actually be a good thing. Okay. Uh, let's sprint, swim, look down here. I know I explored that one, definitely. Uh, yeah, I definitely explored that one. I'll take the flesh, though. There we go. Let's head over here. I'm sure this has a hidden chest somewhere that I just don't know about. Anything down there? No. Anything up there? No. Or maybe it doesn't. I might also be crazy. <laughs> I would not be surprised in the slightest. Um, ooh, there's that one, and that one, and that one. There's a lot of things down here. There's plenty of things to check. Plenty of things to do. Uh, anything in here? Oh, I didn't fill up my... I thought I filled up my air. I guess I didn't. Oh well. 
then back down, open this up, oh, is that a, oh no, it's Sam, ah, okay, snap, well, that was a semi-eventful episode, let's head back to the base and then I'll end the thing off. Well, there we go. That was part 9, I think. I cannot remember what episode I'm on. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Now, I actually had a thought. If I click Escape and go to Advancements... Now, you may know, I haven't been getting too terribly much progress done. So I thought... Again, go back to Advancements. Every time I make an achievement, or make an advancement... What if I were to get one more minute of time that I could work on stuff off camera? So, every time I get an achievement, I get one minute. So I would have currently like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I probably would need to get obsidian, make a shield and stuff. But anyways, you get the idea. Like every minute that I, or every time that I get an achievement, I get an extra minute to work off camera. And then I'll be able to do tedious stuff like get food and grow crops and get my mob farm to work, even digging through the nether. I'd be able to do all of that off camera and just actually have entertaining content. Because yeah, that's kind of what it's going here for, or going for here. So if you like the idea, then definitely tell me because I actually really think that's a good idea because, again, I'd be able to get stuff done. But, anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.